Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Most Bones, and today, y'all could basically see it. All of them right around me. These cards are coming out today. Should be out by the time you guys are watching this. I was gonna wait till they came out, but I know if I wait, I'm gonna end up opening packs, and I have just under 200 KMT, and I'm grinding for Galaxy Opal Dwayne Weed. and as a no money spent account, man, it is so hard to like keep spending my MT on packs for you guys. I mean, I don't do it for you guys, I do it for myself, but like I also do it for you guys. Like I'm trying to see if the luck is good or if like pack odds are good so you guys can see. And honestly, these are so appealing because you've got Galaxy Opal Trey, Galaxy Opal KP, Galaxy Opal Luca. So if you guys don't know, we got Series 3 Prime coming out today. So now the thing is, bro, we already had like the most insane cards for Series 2. So we can only imagine what Series 3 is going to be about. But what it's looking like, at least theme-wise, maybe some generational next type players. Because we got Luka as one of the cards that you need for this set. So now when we think about it, we're like, yo, maybe Zion? Zion's the set reward? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But these are like the best prom cards. I'm surprised they put Trey in here with Luka. I mean, it makes sense. Maybe they're doing it based on like... Maybe it'll be like draft classes. So like Luca's class is him and Trey, honestly. And then KP plays with Luca, so that makes sense. And then the other guys, they usually just throw in random guys we don't really have. Like I've never actually heard of this dude, Dino, who's actually a beast. So we're gonna go ahead, look at stats so you guys know what to expect before these cards come out or when they come out or whatever the case is. We'll start off with Luca, man. He's the guy. So why not start with him? I'm gonna get off your screen to make it easier for you guys to read. But basically, you see everything going on, man. 98 three ball, man got a 95 mid range, his free throws good, whatever. None of that matters. You see the 97 ball handling, 94 speed, 94 speed with ball, 98 draw foul, 85 driving dunk. The driving layup is beautiful, great stamina, great hustle, 89 vert, 84 strength. Man's got defense with the 89 steal, 89 perimeter, 92 lateral quick. Lateral quickness is very important. A lot of people don't realize that, but it's very, very important. He's got 92 defensive rebounds and an 84 offensive rebound, which is pretty insane as well. If you guys don't know, he's 6'7". Can run the point guard. He's PGSG at 6'7". So when you guys talk about Magic and Ben and all that, now you got to add Luka into the mix because he has 41 Hall of Fame badges. And that's not to mention the 23 golds. He's probably got one of the most badges in the game right now. We'll start off at the top. You see everything. You see the Acrobat Relentless. You see the fancy footwork. The Giant Slayer. My man's got Consistent Finisher. Pro Touch. He's even got Back Down Punisher. He doesn't have Showtime or lob city finisher but it's all right he doesn't have pick and roller doesn't need that you look at his shooting he has dead eye clutch catch and shoot difficult hot zone hunter hot start quick draw range extender of course this is luka magic baby luka mania y'all don't understand how good this card could be with the right person aka denver struck out here you know there's some great people that can really use these cards so you got flexible volume dude has pick and pop corner specialist you see the playmaking man that's where it's at man the dimer lob city passer ankle breaker you see downhill floor general handle for days needle threader quick first step stopping go tight handles unpluckable pretty much any badge you need for playmaking is there and then you go to defensive he has clamps hall of fame he's got pick dodger he's got really good badges for the most part he's got pogo stick gold interceptor gold intimidator gold they don't have to be hall of fame he doesn't have rim protector defensive leader but pretty much every other badge you would possibly need is there which is definitely pretty dope we'll go ahead and look at his teammate kp who's honestly way better than any of those cards that came out last week which is crazy like those big men in the fan favorites this dude is 7-3 but just look at these stats please 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 97 mid-range 97 three ball you look at his everything inside scoring man obviously amazing right standing dunk 95 driving dunks 80 86 driving layup whatever he has a 79 ball handling which is crazy he's got 86 speed which is crazy 83 speed with ball which is crazy because honestly you can put a shoe or a coach or whatever you need man and it's over got 97 block his perimeter defense is 79 which is not bad at all 96 interior defense crazy bro He's got a 79 lateral quickness, 
98 rebounding across the board. You see the hustle, the stamina, none of that stuff really is that important. What matters is the badges, which is 40 and 17. Bro, I don't know where to even begin, but he's got the drop step, put back, pick and roll, lob city finisher. The golds are all right. Contact, of course. He's got fast break finisher, relentless, acrobat for some reason. My man doesn't have giant slayer, thankfully, because who, what, like, even is that, right? He's got every shooting badge you can need except steady, which is perfect. Quick jaw range, volume flexible. He's got dead eye, which he definitely doesn't need because he's 7'3", but once he goes up against the big guys, it makes sense, whatever. Green machine, clutch, catch difficult corner hot zone hot start ice bro i just want to say i didn't mean he doesn't need that i just you know what i meant but whatever playmaking he's got quick first step bro seven three quick first step and downhill he's got gold dimer thankfully they didn't give this dude ankle breaker because it would have been over over he doesn't have like your floor general handles or unpluckable or any of that stuff which is good he shouldn't right his rebounding defensive badges are insane rim protector pogo intimidator pogo stick post move rebound chaser bro defensive leader he only has gold clamps which i agree with he has gold interceptor he's 7-3 though so you know he's gonna get you steals now before i look at trey young we're gonna look at this dino guy man he's 6 11 center bro dbg already said this guy is just as good as wilt so i don't know about all that so we got to see for ourselves right we got a 95 mid-range he's got a 79 three ball which is pretty much similar 86 ball handling 92 speed 88 speed with ball bro what are they doing with these cards everything is beautiful look at it there's not even one bad stat besides the three-pointer and it's not even bad dude's got a 90 standing dunk 92 draw foul 85 driving dunk his 88 strength speed with ball we said 88 92 speed he's got an 85 lateral quickness 80 perimeter 92 block 80 steel 97 offensive 96 defensive honestly this card has the potential to be one of the best budget centers in the game for sure 33 hall of fame badges you see everything in the finishing man he's got contact consistent put back acrobat giant slayer slithery pro pick and roll you guys can see it i don't want to keep reading like i said i feel repetitive we'll just go over what he doesn't have i guess that'll be easier but he does have hall of fame catch and shoot and pick and pop and difficult he got gold quick draw with green machine and hot zone he doesn't have corner specialist dead eye blah 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 all the shooting badges that centers normally don't have i guess he doesn't have his playmaking he has dimer downhill and quick first step unpluckable as well he's got gold floor general and tight handles man he doesn't have ankle breaker handles for days obviously he's got rim protector hall of fame intimidator hall of fame box moving pogo post move you got worm and trapper he's got gold clamps as well gold brick wall gold defensive leader and this card actually does look incredible i think that's going to be a great budget center he's going to be really really cheap so i definitely recommend if anyone needs it we'll go ahead and look at trey now i know you guys are here for trey for sure so we'll look at trey's 98 ball handling we'll look at his 99 three ball we'll look at his 97 mid range do i need to say more what about if i tell you he has a 98 speed 98 speed with ball 97 lateral quickness he's got a 92 steel 90 defensive rating 88 perimeter defense bruh this card is solid man just his rebounding isn't all that but 74 and 75 ain't bad at all he's just small so i do expect this card to go really really cheap he's 6'2 people are pulling for kp and luca without a doubt so if you get a trey young you're honestly like beat you're gonna feel bad he might be 200k at max by the end of the day now nah, i don't know like honestly first couple are obviously gonna go for a lot you're gonna see the 300s 350s whatever he should finish off at around 200 luca and kp are gonna be expensive dude has 44 hall of fame badges we're not gonna go into these like i said but you can see it he has giant slayer he has relentless acrobat slithery contact finisher then you see the clutch shooter obviously corner specialist difficult tireless you can see every shooting badge hall of fame pretty much range extender quick draw volume slippery i'm kind of curious how his jump shot is i'm kind of excited to see it for sure he doesn't have pick and pop deep fades and steady shooter but he does have dimer lob city passer ankle blaker downhill floor general handles for days quick first step obviously the things you could see man tight handles unpluckable defense he got pick dodger interceptor he's got lightning reflexes gold clamps which is good enough 
pickpocket and off ball pest he's missing a lot of rebounding badges obviously he doesn't have intimidator which might be a thing because he's 6'2 that might affect him a little bit but he is 6'2 so what do you really expect right he is gonna be lights out shooter though so that's gonna be a fun card now we'll go into the other budget cards we'll start at dan marley why not my man's got a 95 three ball 86 ball handling 90 mid range 84 speed 82 speed with ball you got the 90 still with the 97 lateral quickness didn't expect that at all he's got an 89 driving layup 80 driving dunk usually a pretty good dunker in 2k at least he feels like it he's got 20 hall of fame badges including quick draw catch and shoot corner specialable uh corner specialable what did i just say specialist he's got volume shooter he's got flexible he's got gold hot zone he's got hall of fame range extender i don't know if i mentioned that he's got gold giant slayer pro touch he's got good gold badges for the most part no playmaking but he's got hall of fame clamps pickpocket interceptor he's got defensive leader he's got good badges for an ammy this card should be like 2k not even gonna lie he's gonna be really really cheap so you should pick him up now before he goes up later on that's for all you budget beasts out there we got 6ix9ine sharif who could play the pf or sf he's fast enough to do both which is surprising but 86 ball handling 85 speed 81 speed with ball recommend that the four most likely great post moves for the most part 92 three ball with a 94 mid range dude's got pretty decent defense nothing crazy he's got an 80 steal 81 lateral quickness 80 perimeter 84 offensive rebound 88 defensive honestly this is probably the worst card in the set which is crazy because he's still a beast with the hall of fame badges and the gold badges a lot of cards nowadays really just have every badge you could possibly think of we hope they can basically update some of the older ones but you see the 25 hall of fame you got relentless put back you got contact finisher giant slayer pro touch i'm actually not even gonna go through these you got downhill quick first step clamps and intimidator shooting badges nothing crazy range extender and quick draw on gold though which is pretty dope green machine flexible hall of fame the cards definitely ain't bad at all they're all pretty dope let me know who you guys are excited about let me know who you guys pull if you pull anyone the only thing i'm really excited about is on the no auction house when we get mt and pull packs because if i could pull any of these budget cards i'll be hyped if we could pull an opal which i'm not expecting but if we could somehow pull an opal on the no auction house i'll be really really hyped about that so that's something i'm looking forward to other than that nothing crazy i'm also looking forward to all you new twitter followers you guys been following me i've been posting whenever new codes drop whenever new this i've been really fast and like with it so if you guys want to follow us on twitter go ahead and feel free to do so also subscribe to us here hit that noti i'm on the road to 50k i appreciate y'all for everything y'all doing no auction house dropping today i'll hopefully be seeing you guys later y'all know the drill balling out